I have one. It's Rosemary Morris from Rosemary Morris Art. Um, I've got this book that's been inspired by Jibid Neary, who did a book called The Black Forest. Um, so you can see that I've taken, taken some of her ideas and put my own twist on it. This um, beautiful lace thing with all these things on it, oops, turn it over the right way, um, came from eBay. It was actually a bracelet. It had the cogs on it. You can see here where I took, there were some things on there that I took off that were like going around your wrist to make it a bracelet. And then I've added some leaves and some chains on it. And then this little thing here is covering up where the tie is on it. And it's got this beautiful black and gold brocade on it. And then down the side, this was off another one of those bracelets. And, and this was too, this whole thing came down and sat. So the bracelet was here and then this came down and went over your finger. And it was a really, really cheap way of getting beautiful embellishments because I think they were about $4 each. I got two of them. Uh, and this is part of the lace off it as well. So we will open it up. I hope I can get it all in in frame. This beautiful paper here, um, someone mentioned that they got it, it's Italian paper, but they got it in England and I Googled it and found it. Oh, and the cover's got these lovely corners on them too. This is a picture from a magazine. All of this is, um, every page is torn and then uh, aged and then the backgrounds are stenciled so this took me forever to make it but I loved it so you can see it's got this woody theme but then there's there's uh, cogs and things like that in it so it's a bit steampunky the little mushrooms with the cogs hanging off them and some of the sayings are from Jibid's book uh, which I re ran the, the video several times and then some of them are written by me and uh, so deep in the forest I stroll to hear the wisdom of my soul these are um, Tim Holtz wildflowers which I've drawn things I've added little doodles to them then this this was handmade paper with bees on it um, and that's another handmade paper that you can see later on where I've used a big sheet of it. This is one of Tim Holtz's, uh, I can't remember what they're called, geometric um, insects, geo-insects I think they're called. And it's on a bit of uh, dyed hessian. And it says, Let's take our hearts for a walk through the woods and listen to the magic whisper of the trees. I don't usually put writing in, in my books, but this one, I just thought it went perfectly with it. Here's some more of that beautiful paper that gold foiled on it. And then I sent to somebody, I can't remember who it was, for these on... Um, Etsy and then this is tracing paper that I've sewn and what you do is you sew in twisted lines so that it actually goes to there and then you tear it off here and then you turn it over and tear off the back of the page there it took me a while to work out how Jibby had done that but I worked it out <laughs> and here's a, some of that beautiful handmade paper all of the the things I've cut out with um, with black paper and then I've gone over them with gold wax and then I've used these uh, images because they've just gone <coughs> oh, excuse me they've just gone into being not copyright anymore I can't remember the guy's name who did them. 
Anyway, it says, someday I will be old enough to read fairy tales again. And she looks as if she's lost in the woods. This is sari silk. Um, this is from a Japanese book that I have, but I thought it looked rather nice in that. And there's a little hedgehog down there. The bark, if the tree, oh, oh the bark, I should say the bark of the tree holds all its secrets inside so that I can hear if I listen closely. Uh-oh, might have to do that again and cut it out and glue it over the top. <laughs> Look at these, stunning. And this was a ghost leaf. I put one on because it's got like purple tissue underneath it and it didn't really show up. So I had to glue another one on the top of it. So there's two, two or three there actually. I think there might be three to make them stand up. Also the background, I put all this, uh, what's it called? Distress Oxide. And then I sprayed it with water and it comes out in all these beautiful splotchy patterns. This is another one of those, the same artist's pictures. Some sari silk. And then this, this um, I, I just love doing this. This is all little tiny bits of that uh, paper, the handmade paper. And then all this stenciling, and the, uh, these are the Tim Holtz flowers. Um, these little spots on the mushrooms are where I dipped my finger in the gold wax and just went like that with my fingers, so they're actually my fingerprints. Another gorgeous image there of that tree. I think if that happened to me, I'd be frightened to death. <laughs> And then throughout, I've got several real feathers. Just glued in little bunny down there. Another one of those images. This one, I, I started to actually, oh no, that was a stamp. Autumn is nature at her best. Another one, this, I drew this. And then cut it out and stuck it on and then put the the things around it. Now we enter the ancient wood in what wild ferns the gnarled and mossy boughs are twisted. What a sensation of sacred repose. I think that's one of Jibid's ones. She looks as if she's a bit lost in the woods. And here's that beautiful paper. This is what... Um, Jibid had as well. It's a, a dictionary definition of weary festeria, to wander longingly through the forest in search of a mystery. Then this was a um, thing I cut out and then I hung the, so I drew all the little chains on it and then glued the cutouts. Uh, another one of those nice pages. The forest calls each and every one of us, but only a few hear the call. A dragonfly. Another beautiful, beautiful feather there. It's gorgeous. And it's on some fabric there and some paper. I think that might be handmade paper, not fabric. Then this one. I went online and found some images that were black and white um, and this one had like a check pattern in the background of it so I thought it was one of those that would just print him with the white background but it didn't I printed it on this paper by the way um, so I cut him out and then put all this around him to, to like make him blend in um, so that was a bit disappointing, but I wasn't going to waste him because he's gorgeous. A piece of fabric with the little fabric leaves. The dusk was falling. Oh, this is one of mine. When I was a kid, I used to go to the Bluebell Woods. The dusk was falling and the Bluebell Woods were lovely and deep. 
The woods were beautiful, a carpet of blue. I was searching for creati creativity and I found it. Another one of those beautiful. This is the second. Uh, this is some doodling that I did around here. From that Japanese book again. And into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. I like that one. With a lovely feather. My friend came for a play date and she had this stencil of the feathers and went, oh, can I borrow that? <laughs> I went and got my book and stenciled some feathers because I thought they went beautifully. There's another cut out of that bow that I drew and then cut it out. This is beautiful paper. These are like raised these leaves. And that's my favourite image of her touching his nose. But if you look there, oh, I think, and underneath there, oh no, that's not that one. There's another one there hiding underneath the roots. I think he's going, do run, run, quick, run. Because the wicked witch is hiding. The oak lives for hundreds of years. Such comings and goings it observed in its quiet majesty. Now here what I did was I made some slits in the paper. I had these, these were actually brads, um, which I had for ages. So this is sari silk and I threaded it through and put the brads this side. And then of course on the other side it's covered up by that and then there's some more brads there. Which I thought was rather clever. Here's where I borrowed my friend's feather thing again. A beautiful real feather. This it's very strange. It was a um it's a doily, of course, but it's made out of that Hessian. Beautiful leaf there, oak leaf. And these, again, this is one of Tim Holt's cutouts, but I've doodled things all the way up it. That's another uh, one from online that actually printed out the right way, so I didn't have to cut it out. And to me, it looks a bit like um, one of those birds that come out of the fire. I can't remember the name of them. The trees all around bring sights of green I've never seen. Um, I was in a, a cafe the other day and I looked out over the car park and there were all these trees in people's gardens and, you know, around the street, but there were so many different greens. And then the gum trees here, a lot of them have got this blue tinge in it. And I, I just went, oh my God, look at all those greens and blues. It's a little bit of that thing. This, this, I love doing this. Again, my friend had a cutout of this. Uh, which was in that thick cardboard and I photocopied it and then I coloured it all black and then, yes, I cut it all out <laughs> like a mad idiot that I am because it was so fiddly with all these long branches hanging down and whatnot and then I put these, drew these chains hanging all over it and put the cogs on. Uh, I absolutely love doing it, but it nearly drove me insane trying to cut it all out. Nature is painting for us day after day pictures of infinite beauty. It's a little ruffle down there. And this is that B paper that I've just, you know, I've cut out, well, I didn't cut out, I've torn out little, little bees from it and used them throughout the book. Another one of those beautiful images. And another feather. This is a metal piece and it's held on with one of uh, Tim Holtz's rads and on a piece of fabric. And I was trying out that butterfly stamp and I actually did it on some paper and thought, oh, that looks rather nice. So I cut it out and glued it in. Some more of those beautiful eco-dyed 
um, the lady that did it does such an amazing job. Uh, yeah, this is handmade paper. That's what was behind the other, and that's that see-through like tracing paper with the leaves on it. There's that butterfly stamp again. See, there's a little bees down the edge of the page, and then I have this new. I think this is a Tim Holtz one, and it looked like a honeycomb. Some feathers just popped into that. So what I did with this over here, I used it as a stencil, this paper. So I just put it there and went down it. And, hmm, clever. The clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. Here's some little fairies looking up at the trees and the sky. Here's some more of that tracing paper with the um, oak leaves on it which I worked out how to do it. Thank you, Jibbit. <laughs> and there's a bit stuck under there as well. And here's some more of that beautiful spraying. That one worked out really, really well. Love it. My hands were brown for days after I did this book because I was using, using it all over to do all this stenciling and whatnot. Time spent amongst trees is never time wasted. And that's got a little bit of um, gauzy stuff on it. A bit of, oh, this is Tim Holtz paper pad. I um, can't remember what it's called. It's got beautiful coloured papers in it. Another one of his geo insects. This was a stencil. So you can see in the corners I've just used part of it. And then what I did when I stenciled it through with the ink... I went round all of it and drew around it with a black pen because it wasn't standing out enough for me. There's another beautiful image. And this is washi tape that I actually ripped. Probably got it somewhere else in here as well. See, there's some down there. Oh, that's, an, again, part of that paper where the feathers were back there that I've used as a stencil. Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Another feather. Most take the straight and narrow. Few take the road less travelled. I chose to cut through the woods. <laughs> like that. And that's another stencil, another tree. I might actually go over that with black as well. I have to think about that. I don't know whether I want to. I think it would detract from that. Another beautiful owl that I just printed straight onto the page from the internet. The Geo Insects again. This is some beautiful feathers I got from America years and years ago and it was like sold by the meter. And they're turkey feathers. I just stuck it on with a bit of washi that's gold but I put glue underneath it as well so it would hold it in place. And that's part of that Japanese picture of the, the trees. And then he's off the internet as well. Lovely crow. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I loved making it. I think it was it's the one that's taken me the, the longest time to make. <laughs>